هلو ماي دير ستودنتس تعالوا نحل مع بعض بعض النماذج الاسترشاديه نراجع بيها على يونت 1 ليفرز فور سم موشن اول موديل عندي نركز جدا في اسئله التشوز اسئله التشوز بتبقى تريكي قوي لو انا ما قريتش لحد اخر نقطه ليتس ستارت كويستشن 1 سبيس از ا ريجيد بار روتيتنج اراوند ا فيكسد بوينت وي هاف تشويسز ليفر فالكرم فورس اند ريزيستنس هير ام اسكينج اباوت ذا ريجيد بار about the rigid bar. The rigid bar is called what? The rigid bar is called lever. اوعى تتخم وتقول هنا هو بيقول لي fixed point. I'm not asking about the fixed point. I'm asking about the rigid bar. It is a rigid bar. Okay? Number two. Space is an example of lever. Increase speed. كانت من the importances of levers. حاجات كتيرة. وقلنا اني لازم بحافظ the importance. And I know the example of it. Which one increase the speed? Not cracker. Scissors, tweezers, or hockey bat. Yes, it's hockey bat. We met in any bat increases the speed like the tennis bat. Question number three. Crowbar is an example of first class, second class, third class lever or magnet. Fakrina crowbar can I mean say? Let's quickly draw it to decide which kind of levers is it. A crowbar can be about a stick, wafala fulcrum. And here I have the load that I want to move. Here is the fulcrum, here is the force, and here is the resistance. So which kind is this? Fulcrum in between, it's first class lever. So my right answer is first class lever. Question number four. Space class lever always conserve effort. Fakreen kun on a second class lever, it always conserves. Effort. With third, can note it doesn't conserve effort. Well, first class lever, it depends on the place of the fulcrum. Sometimes it saves, sometimes it doesn't save, and sometimes force will be equal to the resistance. Okay, question number five. Space is the scientist who invented the first simple machine. The first simple machine was invented by the Greek scientist Archimedes. Yes, it's Archimedes, not Newton and not Thomas Edison. Question number six, it's a problem, so we have to solve it. The length of the fourth arm is space. If the force is 400 Newton, resistance is 200 Newton, and the resistance arm is 20 centimeter. So let's try to solve it. If you want to solve a problem, you You have to try it with your own hands. I will write your rule. Force times force arm equal resistance times resistance arm. Here they are saying the length of the force arm. Any force arm is unknown. Okay? If the force is 400 Newton and the resistance is 200 Newton, resistance arm is 20 centimeter. So here I will say force arm equal 200 times 20 divided 400 equal 4,000 divided 400. Yani, my answer is 10. 10 what? Let's go back. Um, calculating the force arm, you have 10 Newton, well, 10 centimeter force arm, arm, you have a distance, so it's centimeter. You have my right answer is 10 centimeter. نركز جدا 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 في موضوع اليونت. I have two choices. Ten. واحدة نيوتن. واحدة سنتيمتر. نيوتن. يبقى أنا كده بحسب فورس. سنتيمتر. يبقى أنا كده بحسب ديستنس أو أرم. The next model. Let's start model two. ونركز جدا تاني. Choose number one. Space is the fixed point where the rigid bar rotates. Here I'm asking about the fixed point. شايفينه هي في بداية السنتس. It is the Fixed point. Well, I ate the rigid bar, but I'm not asking about it. I'm asking about the fixed point. Fixed point is called fulcrum. Until you remember it, fixed fulcrum. F and F. Question number two. Space is a lever where the fulcrum is between force and resistance. Let me get the first, the second, the third. Can I do trick? That we always do. We write. We write orf. Mean the orf. If the fulcrum in between. It's a first class. Low resistance in between, tab a second class. Low force in between, tab a third class. 
هنا مديني examples nutcracker, scissors, tweezers, hockey and he is searching for one where the fulcrum is in between يعني first class طبعا كان أسهل example عندي في first class the fulcrum كان in between in the scissors so scissors is my right answer question number three fishing tool is an example of fishing tool the fishing tool can diamond be and the force in between so it's a third class liver question number four space class liver always doesn't conserve effort always doesn't conserve so it's a third class liver question five space is the distance between force and fulcrum whenever you see distance you, I'm talking about arm force and fulcrum you a force arm so my answer is force arm question number six it's a bit tricky when the length of the force arm equal 2.5 meter and the length of the resistance arm equal 1.5 meter so the resistance force is larger than the effort force the liver has mechanical benefit the liver saves effort or ABC let's try this one you have to do it with your own hand to know the right answer هنا بيقول لي ان الفورس ارم 2.5 وريزيستنس ارم 1.5 this means that the force arm is bigger يبقى الفورس is smaller than resistance يبقى this one it has mechanical benefit it saves effort okay so here i will choose all of the following يبقى my right answer is a, B, and C. Let's move to model three. The first question is a space, the force exerted by the person. Force, you can talk about effort force or resistance force. Which one is exerted by the person? It's the effort force. Question number two. Space is an, is an example of a lever increase accuracy. Accuracy in picking up small things. It's the tweezers. Question three. Bottle opener is an example of the bottle opener can be عندي resistance in between. ولو أنت فكر O R F resistance in between يبقى second class lever. Space is a lever where the resistance is between fulcrum and fourth resistance is between O R F resistance in between يبقى second class lever. Question number five. The lever in the picture saves effort. Doesn't save effort. Has mechanical benefit is not a simple machine. Any lever is a simple machine, so this one is wrong. Save while it doesn't save while it has mechanical benefit. Nifteker, the manual broom it was third class lever. Here the force in between, so it's a third class lever. With third class mailu, it was always doesn't save effort. So my right answer is doesn't save effort. آخر سؤال عندي خالص. The law of lever states that force plus its arm equal resistance plus its arm. Well, the force minus its arm equal resistance minus its arm. Well, the force times its arm equal resistance times its arm. We have choice on the force divided its arms equal resistance divided its arms. طبعا نحنا عارفين إن the law on the بيقول C force times its arm equal resistance times its arm. أتمنى إنكم تكونوا استفدتوا من النماذج الاسترشادية وتحلو حلو إن شاء الله في الامتحان.